Namaste. Okay, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, as it's only myself here. Um, but I'm going to try and share with you uh, an Ilahano technique that you can do daily. Start off with this technique. Um, all you need to do is invoke or call upon uh, your divine, uh, however you choose to see that divine. Uh, for me, I work with the Divine Mother and the Archangel Gabriel. Um, that is usually who I work with the majority of the time. Um, but it is obviously everyone has sees the divine in their own unique way. So please, this is how you do it. So you call on the divine in whatever way works for you, whatever practice that you've done before, and then invoke Yelahano. Ask the divine to bless you with the light that is Yelahano. Yelaheno, Yelaheno, Yelaheno. You can open your hands like this if you wish, if that feels comfortable for you. Now, around you is a vast white light which exists. I think in the Hindu tradition they call it the Antakarana. Above your head, above your crown chakra, see a golden light. This golden light is your soul star. Elahanor will enter your field through the soul star. See this golden light pour down now. Bring it down into your brain, right up to the middle of your brain. And now invite it down into your heart. Visualize your heart opening like a flower. And open your, the chakras in your hands. The intention is enough. Just be there for a little while. Allowing the energy to flow in. This beautiful cosmic light. This gift of grace. Here to awaken us, to transform us, to bring us into a state of bliss, peace, and harmony. To liberate us from our suffering. And bring us home, back into our heart back into the heart of the Divine, back into the love, the supreme love, the love that we've always known, but have forgotten whilst we are here in this world. grateful for the blessings to 
see your heart expand. Take one of your hands and where the top of your neck joins the back of your head, you'll feel a small hollow there. If you take your fingers out from that hollow, out towards your ears, you'll find that there are two very small hollows and you'll feel a slight ridge. That ridge is called the occipital ridge, and those two hollows are what we are calling the alahanal points. Let's see if you can find them. They're sort of between the middle of your head and your ears, a couple of inches from your ears, in line with your ears, right at the back of your head, right up where your neck comes in. Now in the centre, where your neck joins the top there by the occipital ridge, there's a chakra, a chakra that I've heard a few people call, and I've come to start calling, uh, the ascension chakra. A lot of people call it the occipital chakra. There is another chakra slightly below that, uh, which is linked to your throat chakra. This particular one is linked to the third eye chakra in the limbic system. Now, for comfort, you can just place your hand over so that maybe one of your fingers is touching that ridge, but over that whole chakra system. This is the area through which Elahano will connect to your soul. Or should I say, it is the soul connection into the midbrain. You might feel a sudden energy moving into that area. You might feel your consciousness starting to change. The peacefulness starting to move in. The stillness. Now take your other hand and place it, palm over your third eye, and fingers towards your crown chakra. Just allow this whole process is called the eleven or bridge. Turn around so you can sort of see. You can stay there like that for as long as you like. Gently move your hand off. Bring the energy down. And feel the vibration here over your heart area. Let's gently just place your hand on your heart. And feel that connection. Of light, soul. seats of the soul. Keep that connection for as long as you feel comfortable. You can either stop there or move on to the next. Okay, just move your hand down low and now. Now about an inch below your belly button. About two inches below your belly button. Just 
just in the pelvic region, sort of at the pit of your stomach. Just place your hand there, and right in the middle of that area is called the Dantian, or the Hara Center. It is also the location of the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is further forward. We are speaking of something far deeper. Right into the depths of the pit of your stomach is the dantian. And it is a soul seat. And this brings that energy right down deep into the body to create harmony. Just sit, rest your hands, you can either do uh, that, or you can place your hands flat, or in any other position that is most comfortable for you. Just allow the energy to flow through your body. You can sit like this for a while, just comfortably. Take your time with the process. There's no need to rush it. You can either choose to stop there, or you can continue on. And we'll do a breathing technique now, connecting to each chakra. Take a deep breath in, the count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Focus on your base chakra now and hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gently release. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Hold your, hold your breath on out and focus on your crown chakra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Focus on the sacral chakra. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Focus on the crown chakra. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold your breath and focus on the solar plexus chakra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold. Focus on the crown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Focus on the heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. On the focus on the crown. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold and focus on the throat chakra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, focus on the crown. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold and focus on the third eye chakra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold and focus on the crown chakra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Focus on the crown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now breathe normally. And take three deep breaths. And out. Another note there which I forgot to mention is when you're breathing. Just visualize it as the light moving in and out. Take one of your hands, left hand possibly, raise it to the sky. Take the pinky of the other hand and point it at your third eye. This is where the Kundalini comes in with the two energies, the Pingala and, oh, I can never remember the other name, where they two meet, Inda and Pingala. Let the Arahana flow into that point. Slowly bring your hand down, turn it around, and pull the earth balancing energy up through your hand and into that, into your third eye area. Focus your attention on the crown chakra again. Place your hands high above you, hills of light, view of grace, feel the peace, the bliss, and draw this energy down as you bring your hands down. Consciously connect to all the chakras, the crown, third eye, throat, heart. Solar plexus, sacral, base chakra, moving the light right down to Mother Earth, to her core.
Place your hands in the prayer position of your heart. Move your attention into your heart. Feel the love, the peace, the light. Taste that light. Taste that peace. Taste that love. From the heart is, emanates the Makaba, the masculine pyramid pointing up and the feminine pyramid pointing down, together creating a star tetrahedron. There's two Makabas, or two points to the Makaba. Each spin in opposite direction of each other. The masculine spins clockwise, the feminine spins anti-clockwise. Breathe in once deeply. And as you breathe out, breathe out firmly and move your arms in a circular motion around your whole body. One. And again. That is to activate the Makaba. Now you can just sit comfortably. Feel the spinning. Feel the light. Calm the light. Be the light. From this heightened state of awareness and consciousness, you can create your day, create all that you'd wish to create. Move this light into situations that need healing relationships, to partnerships, to friendships, to family, to your career, but most importantly, holding the intention for personal awakening and global awakening. Align your, your spinal column to that of the axis of Mother Earth. Feel your Makaba aligning to the Makaba of Mother Earth. So that we may ascend together. We are one with all of her inhabitants. Spread the light into her aura. Spread the light across the entire galaxy, the entire universe. Become one with the Supreme. Gently now take this light and use your hands and anchor it in the Dantian by placing it both your hands 
have a, your like two two inches below your belly button. Feel this light anchoring in the pit of the stomach. Embodying light, love. Being centered and grounded and whole. Namaste. Peace be with you. Om Shanti Shanti. <laughs>